In this lesson, I will show you how to calculate the great circle distance between Kolkata, India and Durban, South Africa. This is the city of Kolkata in India. And here is Durban in South Africa. Drawing the great circle path between Durban and Kolkata will show us the shortest distance between the two cities on the surface of the sphere. As the third point of my spherical triangle, I can choose either the north or the south pole, as Durban is south of the equator and Kolkata is north of the equator. I will choose the south pole. Let's join Durban to the South Pole and Kolkata to the South Pole. And I now have my spherical triangle. Let me now try and draw this picture. Here is Kolkata at 22 north and 88 east, Durban at 29 south and 30 east. That's the great circle path between them. Let's join Kolkata to the south pole along its meridian and do the same for Durban. In my spherical triangle, this angle will be d lambda. This side will be the co-latitude of Durban, chi d, and this side will be 90 degrees plus the latitude of Kolkata, 90 plus phi k. I will call this side z, which is the angular distance from Durban to Kolkata along the great circle path. Now, what can I calculate in this triangle? I'll start off with d lambda, which is the difference in longitude between the two cities, and this works out to be 57 degrees, 31 minutes. Chi of Durban, which is the co-latitude of Durban, is equal to 90 minus phi of Durban, which works out to 60 degrees, 7 minutes, and 90 plus phi of Kolkata works out to be 112 degrees, 34 minutes. Now we have enough information in the spherical triangle to be able to use the cosine rule of spherical trigonometry. Since we know chi of Durban, 90 plus phi of Kolkata, and d lambda, we can solve for z. z works out to be 76 degrees, 11 minutes and 5 seconds. To convert z into a distance in kilometers, I convert it first into radians and then multiply it by the radius of the earth in kilometers, which works out to 8466 kilometers.